Hey, what's up guys? So we are back with a 4K versus Blu-ray. We're gonna talk about Cloverfield. Just came out with this brand new awesome steelbook. Uh, you know, it's a slip cover. It looks like, you know, Paramount's trying to keep up with Lionsgate. The only issue I had with this is, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but you know, it's extremely bubbly. It just, I don't know, it's it didn't come out great. I really don't know what happened. I'm not gonna speculate either way. I know a lot of people had issues with this, but Eh, it's whatever I guess. It's still cool. And obviously you get the front with the actual monster on there. You get the back. And then if you open it up, it's just like the entire landscape of New York with all the skyscrapers. Either way, cool release. This does have a 4K release already. This is just the 4K steelbook of it. I think it's the 15th year anniversary. I do believe the 4K that you had previously is the exact same thing as this. I don't think they added any special features. I don't think they added anything different. I think everything that comes with that old 4K release that came out prior to this is the exact same thing. So if you like Steelbooks, you're probably gonna wanna pick this up, but if you already have the 4K and you just wanted the 4K because you liked it, you know, skip on this because you really don't need it. Everything's the same. So we are comparing it to this Blu-ray. So you have the Cloverfield, 10 Cloverfield Lane, and the Cloverfield Paradox. This is a nice little triple pack. I think if you want these three movies, you can buy it on Amazon for, I think it's like 12 bucks. So it's pretty cheap regardless, but we're gonna compare it to this Blu-ray. So like I always say, I'm just gonna give my opinion. I'm gonna post pictures up here of the Blu-ray and the 4K. That way you guys can kind of form your own opinion. I just wanna give you as much information as I can on, you know, if you want to purchase this, if you want to stick with the Blu-ray, you know, what's the upgrade, what's, you know, whatever. So with that being said, let's get into the comparisons. So a little bit about Cloverfield. If you don't know already, this is, I think it just, it really picked up the cliche of found footage that like Wreck and Blair Witch have all kind of used and used and used. But this kind of switched that, and it's, you know, you run around with T.J. Miller and a couple other characters. They're basically trying to, you know, survive the night, I guess you would say, and trying to not die against this huge kaiju monster that kind of came out of nowhere. This is directed by Matt Reeves, and then also, I believe, produced by J.J. Abrams. So we all know J.J. Abrams. He has, you know, a thing for for sci-fi and monsters and stuff like that. So it makes sense that he would be attached to this movie. But either way, they kind of run around downtown New York. They make some stupid decisions. A couple people die. And, you know, they end up finding somebody that they're looking for. But who knows if they can actually survive. Either way, I enjoy this movie for what it is. I will say this. I did see it in theaters when it first came out. And my God, it just... The shaky cam is all over the place. It definitely will make you dizzy or throw up, especially seeing it in theater with that huge screen. Uh, and then also not to mention, you're just running around with TJ Miller, just screaming and yelling, oh my God, every five seconds. So if you can get past that, you'll definitely enjoy the movie. But, yeah, I mean, it's good. But did it really hold up? Eh. It's for you guys to decide, I guess. So like this and the prior 4K release, they both come with Dolby Vision. It definitely does bring up the color and makes the skin tones more kind of regular skin tones. You don't get that old school Blu-ray feel where it's kind of like that orangish or like a darker color skin. And you, you don't, you kind of see the skin tone fleshed out. I will say this with the Dolby Vision, overall, the picture quality is better. So overall, I think the, the picture quality is better but really when you get those close-ups on people's faces when they're not the camera's not shaking to all hell that's really when you kind of see the better dolby vision kick in and it looks better i will say this i really wouldn't go with an upgrade from you know blu-ray to this i watched both they don't really have that much of a difference because this was shot with a video camera and they want that old school feel and you get a lot of shaky cam, you know, you get everything moving, everything's jumping in and out of focus. There's really not, I mean, yeah, you get, you know, the picture quality looks better. I will say that, but 
it, I don't think it's necessary to switch from a Blu-ray to a 4K. Usually I don't say this because I like 4K and I like the way it looks. And for most movies, most, it definitely does look better. But I will say this, this Blu-ray right here, almost, I mean, for the most part, holds up. Honestly, I think the 4K maybe makes the, the kaiju and the little monsters just like that look a little worse. There is one photo in here that I will post somewhere in the in the video but it's of the actual monster kind of looking down on TJ Miller and that looks good you can definitely tell there's more definition to the monster's face you can see more you know it looks better I will say that but with all of the shaky cam with them wanting to be you know the authentic look when it's on video cam with them running around I really don't see a need video wise to really pick this up or pick up the other 4K, honestly. If you're a fan of the movie and you want it to look as best as it can, pick up the 4K, you know, maybe wait for a deal, you know, $7.99, eight bucks, something like that. I think that would be a better idea because I really just don't picture quality. It's not worth it to me at least. Either way, like I said, you know, look at the photos that I'm posting. You guys make your own decision, but it's not for me. So we'll dive into the sound a little bit. But the thing is that the Dolby True HD that is on this is also on this. They are the exact same. I will say it does sound great on the Blu-ray as well as the 4K. Uh, this is a great movie to listen to. You hear a lot of the bass. Uh, there's tons of explosions. There's buildings blowing up, falling over. There's Statue of Liberty heads just randomly getting thrown at people. So I will say that this is definitely a good soundtrack for this movie but you would think you kind of want to upgrade to the 4k you know give it a little better soundtrack but either way they're the same so again it sounds great but if i can get three movies for 12 bucks or i can get this for i think it was like 19 bucks or something like that i'm probably gonna go with this honestly i mean again like this like i said this looks you know a little bit better on close-ups and on the monster when it's not moving it definitely looks a little bit better but overall if you just want to watch the movie pick something like this up you get 12 bucks you get three movies you can watch all three they're all like in that universe they connect but they don't connect so it pains me to say because I usually love 4k in the way it looks and I think just most of the time it looks phenomenal but wait for a deal at least like I said eight nine bucks Pick this up for three bucks more, you get three movies. It's just not worth it. So either way, did you guys pick up the Steelbook? Do you guys already have the Blu-ray? Are you going to keep that? Do you want to upgrade? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let me know everything you think of the movie, the you know Adobe Vision, the True HD, everything down in the comment section below. You know, do you think they should put out the other movies or have they put out the other movies in 4K? And I don't even know. I think the other one's a Netflix movie, so I don't think that's ever going to get a 4K. But either way, let me know in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys later.